um, this deck instead. Now, this is, I'm open to changing this pretty quickly. Hello friends, it's Lionheart here, and yes, I am back with another Gwent video based on the changes from the Balance Council. Well, Witches seem to get a little bit of support. We now have the Thinning Trio worth a little bit more, Geralt Quen a little bit cheaper as well. So, I always enjoyed playing Witches. I wanted to try and see if Witches could be any good. I did try NR Witches and quite frankly, both the Golden Necker version and not just, they still felt pretty sad. I'm gonna be completely honest, they did. So, I tried Skelliger Witches instead. I've always been a big fan of Arnagad, who will, from this point forward, be referred to as Arnachad forever. I love him, and I've always really enjoyed the card, even though, actually, if we all take a step back, it is a perfect example of a horrible binary card that, if it was in Nilfgaard, we would all loathe. Nonetheless, I am entirely willing to be a hypocrite where Arnachad is concerned, and I want to play that card in there. Can Witcher Skelliger actually play and do well? I make changes throughout the course of my time playing it, and I think you'll start to see why. Are Witchers worth it? Well, I played it so that you don't have to. Or maybe you should. You'll have to watch the video to find out, my friends. There are multiple different lists that I used over the course of this editing. All of them are in the description for you to try out, and I would love to hear what you've done with those cards. Have any of the buffs across that made it in for you to be worth it? I originally wanted to make a focus around the discard package because I said this in my video, the discard package is now so good in Skelliger, it would be crazy to play Skelliger without running it, but you can't run it in Witches because it's just so counterintuitive, it just doesn't fit. The only thing that works with it is Sunset Wanderers and that nice little pairing, but the other witches, there are just too many bricks to make it work. So if you do have a Skelliger list, maybe you could share it with me, as this video does, spoiler alert, take a turn away from witches and into more of that focused by the time I played probably four or five games. The extra list, also available for you and down in the description. As always, I will be continuing to create Gwent content here particularly. It's still forming a part of our streams, but I would love to hear what lists you've had success with. I'm always looking for a good deck to try out. I, I have been repeatedly pestered about playing an Igor list in Syndicate, and I will get round to it, I promise, because it does look fun. But what do you think I should play? And do you have plans for the Balance Council this coming month? I would love to hear what you're going for and give me a bit of rationale as well. Don't just blindly post it. Tell me why. I care about the why because then I understand where you're coming from. I really enjoy making these videos still and I hope you enjoy and continue to enjoy to watch them. If you do, click the like, hit the subscribe button and make sure you never miss a video from Lionheart. You know you love it. Let's go and play some Gwent. My expectations were wrong. I expected this to be community balancing, which was stupid on my part. It's not that at all. It's soft rotation based on how irritated people are, effectively. Um, so we'll go from there. Noel, you'll be copying this deck w with any others I put out, so do your best. I'm working on it, don't you worry. I'm working on it. Um, and I will keep trying for you, I promise. I'll keep trying. Uh, any thoughts as far as the next council? A couple, but it's a bit too early to tell. If we're going with 4P thinning, every faction needs it. I think they should all go back to five, personally. Um, but it's either one way or the other. Passive Flora needs to go to 13, the card's terrible. Um, and a few others that I'd like to see changed as well. We, I think we consciously need to look at the fact that Northern Realms just doesn't really exist now as well. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what subject? 
And I, I don't care if people dis like, agree with me or disagree with me. That's not really my problem. Uh, in my opinion, buffing four p buffing thinning back to four provisions shows a complete lack of understanding of Gwent deck building. In my opinion, because it's super binary inclusion as a result. We used to have it; it was boring. And we now have it again, and <gasps> it's boring. So it's just my point. Um, but yeah. But I think that's a little bit too one-dimensional because lots of different people are giving their opinions on the Balance Council, which is good, and I like that. I want people to give their opinions on the Balance Council. Um, and I don't think by any means it's just streamers from one region that are currently being followed. Obviously, the bigger the streamer, the more influence they're going to have. So, for instance, the biggest one from the CIS region at all is Nick. So he is going to have a bigger influence, but you can't also not level that chin. Obviously, he hasn't been around this month, so it's a lot easier to go, well, it's only what? But the reality is, you know, there are going to be people who influence it. That's not just going to be streamers. That's going to be people on Reddit. That's going to be... And it's normal that people are influenced by the decisions of others in something like this, in my opinion. So, like, I don't have an objection to that. And I think it's good, almost, that we have. Um... And Nick's choosing them at random? Oh, Christ. But then, if that's the case... So, let's say Nick comes out. I don't know if that's true, but let's pretend that that's the case. Or let's say that's the case, right? Nick has said, I am make I'm just going at random, rolling a dice, la, 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 la. If people then choose to take his votes and agree with them, that doesn't say anything about Nick. Right? Um, do because the dominance tag is equal to or less. Nick is um, a Russian, very, very, very good Gwent player. Um, Russian, obviously, as a result, hasn't completed in official esports um, for over a year, but has still been playing a lot of Gwent. It's very, very good. Um, what's frustrating is when you lose games, not because of skill, because you because of your uh, gold in your deck. Uh, Nick R, yeah. Um, and that can be frustrating, but I think the thing to remember where that's concerned, realistically, Gwent is a game of about deck building. So no. it, it's you're never going to find every card because you, you should be building to the rule of 16 anyway. The idea of having four provision cards, four provision cards are free in Gwent because that's how our provision system works. You have to have at least that, so they're basically zeros. As a result, it's really not the right play, in my opinion, to make thinning free because it makes deck building boring and one-dimensional to me. Uh, yo, Trigger Happy, thank you for the first time sub. Welcome in. Love to have you here. Really nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Papa Vess is better. Mm, okay, we're going to do it. Welcome, enjoy the fancy suit, and if I say so myself, the best emotes on Twitch. Wolfsbane, you're waiting for Shin to return. Uh, Shin's a really cool guy, and I'm obviously we're all excited to see him come back. Uh, Witcher card with adrenaline kind of limits me to this nonsense. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Ugh. Not loving the way this is going for us, chat. I won't lie to you. Okay, let's do that. Draw that. And shuffle. I, I don't think Hunod's going to be the guy here, honestly. And if he is, I can grab him with Quen, right? I think that's fine. Um... Monsters had 4p thinners that didn't see play. True. But yeah. That's, yeah. Shin's been doing good work. He definitely deserves some time off. He does. Um, okay. Let's burn her. Draw. Draw. Uh, fuck. Okay. So the Witcher combo here is a little problematic. It's fair to say. I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, Edap, hello! Playing SK discard package? I mean, the discard package is just busted. It doesn't really work with... Oh. Okay. 
I want as many turns as possible this round, so I think I armor up too. Because again, it's more points for this, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, I need the damage for you, Nod, so I guess we don't. It's a shame, though. Now, my Saturday's going well. People can deliberately over-nerf a card. No, Walt's me either. And that's Honestly, that that's the start of the end of the game if people are going to keep doing that for me. Uh, one of my votes will be to buff Compass, for instance. Which I'm sure is deeply popular. Oh. Okay. That's gone actually quite well. Managed to make witches work. This is our first game with them, bud. So, so far, not yet. Hmm. Discard package certainly doesn't work with this, which is a bit of a shame, but c'est la vie. Also gets in the way of portal, actually, because these also could come out now that they're fours. It's just... Ugh. Hmm. Okay, this list, not it. We need to make some tweaks to make witches work. That's nice. A few moments later. All right, we thin too much and discard doesn't work well with witches. Noted. Okay, goodbye. Uh, I don't know why I wasted so much time here, chat. Right, let's go in and make some... Let's make lots of changes because that's just terrible. That's not the version at all. Um, I'd like to try witches at least once when I feel like they're worth playing. So, Skulls, and that can go. Because if we're running Mentors... Because th this card is absolutely stacked, right? It's kind of nuts how good that is. If you're running Naval Supremacy, and then Ships, because these, these two are ridiculous... But as, if I'm doing that, I have to cut Sunset Wanderers, I have to cut Eskel... Um, right, and then I don't think I can run selective mutation as a result. Probably, let's cut the spores, the vial, and the gutting slash again. Let's. Mentors are good. Heron Kaduka for another mentor is good. We need damage. Like, ideally, you'd probably want the Dim and Light ship then as well, but you don't want to risk... Because then we're going... Arna Chad is coming in, right? For Chad Sucrus, which I think is brilliant. But... Freyas for more. Freyas are a possibility. I think, I think Leo probably gets cut as a result. Um, yeah, the trio, it's good for thinning, but I don't actually know if it's worth it. And I don't think Vest Mentor's worth it now either, as a result. Um, yeah, you mean um, in this version, we absolutely do want to run... Uh, is he an eight now? No, uh, Gerd, yeah, you're right. Uh, Pedra, thank you for the follow. Uh, you want to run Offering of the Sea, huh? I mean, I can see it, I guess. Offering's kind of good. It's a weird set of things, though. Right? I think port we need thinning and we need consistency. So, Portal, yes. Care Trolled, you'd be crazy not to run. Um, I only have two Skellige ships currently for and i've got no way of grabbing these cards right it's just what do we find which is pretty terrible um because honestly the list that we're now building probably doesn't run the witcher trio doesn't run selective mutation or trial and has basically gone back to the discard package right if we're being honest i would say after all of this none of them make the cut which means neither of these make the cut. Maybe you keep trial, but I don't think so, because we're no longer wide. Mardromes are great, yeah, for Arna Chad. Um, 
Because... Because if we're doing that, you want Freya's blessings. Do I... Christ, you want Ockle? You can't want Ockle, surely. We can definitely fit Ockle. Uh, yeah, legitimately, yeah, playing witches is, is just don't. Yeah, the fact that we're not alchemy is what hurts us with that idea. Yeah, you're right. Okay, we're not alchemy. Let's don't do that. So, but the Freya's Blessings, maybe one Freya's Blessing. But we've got too much mid-range tat. Like everything, the, like the, this, this side of things isn't great. So I need consistency and I can afford... Currently, an Aeneiromancy. Or I can afford to just put Sunset Wanderers in again. Hmm. Compass is 11, absurdly, because people are morons. Um, and no, that isn't too strong. Avalak Sage. Yeah, there was people wanted to buff it back to nine, so a group of people decided to vote to nerf it to 11 for an already unplayable card. It was genuinely the thing that nearly made me quit Gwent permanently. I will be voting it back to 10 in the next patch. Um, I understand some people don't want to see it at nine, but choosing to break it is just... or ugh, Yeah, I can't get into it because I'll just get annoyed. Um... How many witches legitimately have adrenaline at this point? Because right now, tr selective mutation only grabs me very little here. I suppose it grabs me a bear witcher, yeah. No, you see, I would happily see it. I didn't see any 10p compass at all. I played all month and I didn't face it once. I like it at nine. I want it at nine. It was built to be at nine. I understand people want to rotate it out when they get bored of it. But it grabs Quen and Arna Chad. Yeah, it does. We need some removal, and I think that removal should be a Witcher, and I think it should just be OG Gary then. Right? But then with the amount of things we're damaging, maybe it is just a... <sighs> Sangreal for Arna Chad. You could, but I don't, I don't have enough consistency as it is. I think my problem is I can't find what I'm looking for. Um... Why are we running Sage? Well, I run one, two, three different options here for it. So I think that, a Nero, and then two fours. I want to get Portal down as early as possible, right? So I think this is probably better. A Nero and Sage, I think, is more worth it for the overall long term consistency with three different things. Avalax Age into Portal early, super important for this list. I think. We only have eight provisions left. Um, and I think we actually take Mardrums then. I'm not convinced by Offering either, honestly. I think Offering could just be a hard brick for us. Um, realistically, I'm not convinced by Offering here. Personally, I think maybe even something like a Herkia Drummond would be better consistently than Offering of the Sea. I'm not, I'm not, I like the idea. Actually, a Giga Scorpion, because of the way that it's both now. Um, this is a lot of provisions for consistency, I agree. Um, I need one more unit, fact, yeah, good point. Well, Offering's got to go anyway, then. Um, do we have Dow with Rock instead of Freya? We d we're not a val we're not a reasonable Cosimo deck, I don't think. There's not a consistent pairing that makes Cosimo worth playing. So I'll skip on that. Um... Hmm. 
Mm. No, I can't instead of what well, I only have two boats and we're running naval supremacy like that would just be madness. We have no 4P boats. Which I probably should have, but I can't go offering to the sea. I've only got 12 units. It has to be a unit. Yeah, I think the, I think we have to go. F the problem is if I go for the 4P boats, they can be thinned out by bail by portal two. So I have to be careful. I think we have one marjoram and one boat and we always play back row, right? Always make sure portal goes back row. I think that's fine. Now we have 13 units too, so I'm not... Honestly, I should just have flat removal, right? Shouldn't I just have champion's charge? I think that's much better with the bloodthirst we're going to have than offering. Because I think this is too risky. I'm going to take champion's charge. Yeah. I'm going to take champion's charge. Not convinced that trial of the grasses is actually worth it now I think about it. In fact, Trial of the Grasses really isn't worth it. What am I hitting? Like, it was worth it, but it's not now. That can then become Giga Scorpion, right? Okay. Not witches. So, after much, much deliberation, uh, after much deliberation on witches, all of the cards that were buffed aren't worth playing as well. Because I think then at 10, it was, it would actually be worth running in a couple of different lists. So we've got both of those boats in hand. So my mulligans so far... Okay. <laughs> so we've managed to miss a Nero, Avalak, and Portal here. Love that. And we're against our goody. It's Imposter playing Emir turn one. All right, Chief. You do, you do you. Sure, 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 sure. Hmm. I don't think trial is better in this list if we're going down the mentors being our main aim. But I think mutation's worth it. Does six damage? Yeah, it does, but it does six damage to one thing rather than across multiple things, right? I've got much better chance of getting bloodthirst. Nilfgaard status is the problem is the list is fantastic but for all the wrong reasons it's it's really good because cards are missing text that they absolutely should have right Teshin Mutna Sword is situationally better for sure yeah guess I just play the boat Like, this is just infuriating. Like, th this card is stupid. So, first lock, no problem. Like, I can't win this round. Like, actively cannot win this round. Um, draw a card with adrenaline. I'm probably going to grab Geralt Quen. Here. And I'm going to put Arna Chad back because I'm always grabbing him from Quen anyway. Um, I don't think, like, nerfing her down power wise, at 6p it's definitely better. Yeah, I agree. At 6p it's definitely better, but. Alright, so I'm. I... Passing against this is typically losing, right? Especially without. Because dealing with the scenario isn't the problem. It's dealing with Philippe. Um, it always gets, it almost always gets boosted quickly, yes. But 
I think Philippe Van Morlehem is the problem, not necessarily Dane. I disagree. Emir would be worse, but then Emir should also have been reworked. Emir is designed to be a spying synergy, not a thirsty dame synergy. Um, because he's designed, you can then use him for other statuses later on, right? He's to build up value um, for either if you're using coup or if you're trying to get more statuses to be able to move statuses, blah, blah, blah. But Dame should never, ever have um, finally portal. Okay. Are they just playing that and passing for a long round? Thoughts? Do I play Portal anyway? Because it still thins both of them. I think so, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, Philippe is the strongest card in status Nilfgaard. Like, you can bleed them and get Scenario. You can get um, Jean. You can get all that stuff. Oh, okay. They're just playing to get rid of cards. I see. But if you don't get Philippe, you're screwed. It is one of the craziest cards in the game. It should have been um, two turns, in my opinion. Oh, Jean, you'll see Jean in every status deck. I've, we've played, we faced him twice today. Um, you know, it's not worth Philippe and Letho. It's not worth it. You don't need to. You've already won. Catriona's too slow, bizarrely. Um, Catriona's too... It's, it's a win more card. If Catriona sticks, you you are already winning the game. Um, so it doesn't tend to find much of a place. There are just better options. Um, yeah, he should have been cooled down too, and then he'd be fine. Um, why are we playing Scorpion? Random picks Rana, Chad, plus its removal for awkward engines, basically, are the two reasons. Uh, anything worth a Freya's Blessing on Crate Longship, maybe. This is giving me a boat. This is giving me Arna Chad. Avalak is going to give me Care Trolled. Amazing. Uh, okay. I think I'm okay with that. So it will be naval supremacy into boat for turn one. Oh, it's create and play? Why did I not know that, chat? In my head, that's a play from your deck. I thought it was thinning. My bad. But at least the bloodthirst is going to start ticking early. Masquerade ball, that's fine. It's 100% a champion's charge target here. As crazy as this looks, that is worth it every single day of the week. Now they bring another. Fine. It's up at four. I am Nero and I have to gig a scorpion and kill it. I think you have raiding fleet. Yeah, yeah. This has to die. If it doesn't die, I'm... Uh, but then I need to use it on Philippe instead, right? So, am I thinking of leader and possibly Gerd? Oh, fuck. Come on. Offensive Mardrome's better. There we go. Uh, YOLO leader? Yeah, I think so. No, 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 you're good. You're good. It had to be done. I, I know it looks ridiculous, and now they think this is going to stick. It's not. Because now I have a Nero for uh, Giga Scorpion. Beautiful. And there's nothing else that kills that. So a Nero, Giga Scorpion. I can't take the 50 50. I want to take the 50-50, but I can't. I just have to kill it. 
I, I can't. I have to go for the 100% kill. I have to. There's no, you know. I, I just don't have another choice. Oh, look at my skill level, chat. Imagine being as talented as me for a moment of your life. I know it's tough. You know? Mm-hmm. Exactly, it's two points or the game. Here's Jean. Hello, Jean. Old Admiral Ron Pally. I have to use Gerd now. That's fine, that's cute. I love it. May as well get the max value. Then it's going to be Geralt into old Chad. Kill Jean. I can't. I can kill Jean with Herrnkaduk. Yeah, I suppose we could have killed Jean with Herrnkaduk. Still can, because there's only one. Yeah, there's only one status. So we'll do that now. With Ker Oh, we could do it with Kertrold, Yeah. By two damage a random enemy unit by two. I did the wrong thing. Chat, I did the wrong thing. Yeah. I clicked the wrong thing. I did that to myself. Yeah. Chat, it's fine. It's my own responsibility. It's actually, this is the worst possible target. Just so that we're all aware. Mm. Lots of bloodthirst, though. I don't think... Ch I don't think Chad's going to be the way... But let's find out. My naval supremacy is done, I think, right? It's gone now. So it's I think it's finished. Obviously it doesn't go there. So it's now gone, finished and done. Worth the heal here? They're running rot tossers? They're running yen. Chat, like, I don't even know what to say. Running yen, like unironically, running Yennefer. Disgrace. Uh, Freya's blessing here. Probably, uh, I think Bear Witch is the best option to hit this, right? Because it's the most points. What are you gonna do? Huh? This is a lot. Hmm. But I think we're in trouble. Why are you bleeding that? Yeah. Opponent only needs eight. They should have it. They should have it. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it, and it's that close. This was very winnable. If I don't mess up the uh, this, we win that game. Well, we're about to find out if it's better than Horde, because we are against Horde. Let's go. Right. <sighs> the Avalak is amazing as a last grab because we can portal super early. Jump that onto the back row. Happy days. Um, all right. Let's see, can our opponent disprove our theory that Horde sucks? Am I the problem? Is it me? Well, we'll find out together. Hey, Petra, lovely to meet you. Still have hope for Gwent? I'll always have hope for Gwent. I really enjoy the game and always have. I have concerns about how the Balance Council will move the game. Uh, into the worst places 
and I think it's been made worse after each patch if you take like a macro view, but there's still plenty of time and we'll see how that goes. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, turn one. This, my opponent is taking a line that I would personally not have taken. Um, so, I, I mean, I respect it. I'm confused by it. I'm not going to lie. And of course, I am just going to kill that. So... The game is fine. The players are the problem. I mean, honestly, it's pretty much what I said. No, what's for Gwent's the... It hurts me how much Gwent left on the table when it, uh, the, the support was finished because it was in the best place it had been. If I'm being honest, in terms of balance, diversity, potential, Gwent was the very best it has ever been. It's just such a shame that it went the way it went. Oh, they just go flat out, Bincy. Let's go. Okay. Cute. Seven and let them overcommit. I don't think we can afford to do that. Um, I don't think we can or even want to do that particularly. Um, this list with round control, my experience seems to be that it's actually much better when it has the control. So... But I'm just thinning. I'm happy to play these cards. This I can bring back. This does good thinning. Using a single leader I think is worth it. Because it will get more from them. And it still gives me a shot in a round. Where if I get the bloodthirst I just... You know? On red coin I think it's fine. Like I'm ahead right now. That's craziness. And they're fishing for spenders with an even tied plunder. Cute. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. That's not good spending value, my friend. But all righty then. Um, early, let's go for naval. Oh. Cute. I'm happy with that. They can't even gain coins right now and they need to find a way to get a spender on the board. I'm all right. Bincy's range locked, true, true. She is. It's okay. She is range locked, yes. This is something I'd forgotten about poor Bincy. We should definitely have moved her. You are all correct. Yeah. That one's on me, chat. You had this to... Okay, so... Champions Charge Bincy is going to be the plan. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm here for. Um... But I need one more thing with damage. So I think at the moment I just gird, get some value there, because the next thing they play has a pretty decent chance of not mattering. If they play here, Bincy's getting champions charged out of existence. And if they don't, I just a Nero misc. Right? Did he just say bloody Gwent? Been there. Treasure Hunter, cute. Look at old smell of seagull shit. Mm hmm mm hmm Oh, and you give that the thing as well? You have to give it to the boat. You have to give it to the thing I don't want to kill. Mm. Well, we're winning this round on even. Pew! Mm. Excellent. Love it. And this is one of Horde's problems. It has to play into Tall Punish. Finding its spenders can be super awkward. Yeah. And this could... Bye, bye, Bincy. <laughs> the way you infuse Ale on a Crow Mother? Typically, yeah, because she doesn't boost herself, and when they remove her... It's awkward because then she's going to come back. So the net value for you is better, right? So yes, it's one of the reasons why she's a good ale target. Oh, wow.
Hmm. Thoughts, chat. Care trolled could be okay here. So could Kaduk. Kaduk's gonna do three damage. I don't think there's anything we like. It is an honor, chat, my friend. We're respectable gamers over here. Um, okay. Opponent gets a pass if they want it. And I think they want it which is amazing for us because the amount they've committed here if they choose this pass, they obviously have no spenders, right? Yeah, Mentor's for not. If they play here, Mentor is absolutely horrendous for them, right? Surely they have to take this as their pass. Surely. Okay, and they're making the mentor worse for them, for me rather, which obviously is fine. Wheel of Fortune! Excuse me, good sir. So this currently is two, three, four, five, six. So it's only a 10 as it stands, right? Still pretty decent, honestly. 10 points is fine. I'll play it front left because front to right. Yeah, because this will boost. There you go. We get the 10 though. That's fine. Don't really want to use Trold. And again, I'm still... Nah, I don't think I want to. I'm still in a spot where a Neuromancy is fine, honestly. Like, a Nero for Misk, I think, is worth it. Being able to just bop something next round when I push, I think, is better. Yo, CD! It's lovely to see you. In Inadvertently, that is typically the case, my friend. How the devil are you? I hope you're doing well. Right, I need six points, um, which means I need seven points. So, you are eight points, right? So, so this, All that, death, and that is just going to be sufficient to get us ahead. I hope you're doing well, CD. It's lovely to see you as always. I hope life's treating you well. Hmm. Welcome to my uh, Saturday evening. I know it's a bit unusual for us. There's now something in my eye. Apologies, chat. Ugh. Let's do a little bit of fishing. Okay. I mean, that's pretty great, right? He was seven, but it was enough. Was he? I thought he was eight. Does he not do three damage? Is he only two damage? Have I been misreading that card? I know Seductress Game won. This is eight, but Seductress Games won. So, but I'd already counted for that. It's all good. Honestly, do I Hana chat here and just really upset them? Not immediately, obviously, but... Uh, junior curling competition today, so lots of fun. Oh, I'm really pleased. Congrats. I I'm glad it went well. I'm glad it went well. I actually think I'm going to Quen and drop it. Let's see what they do. Freya's Blessing would normally be for a mentor, but could honestly be for a second boat. Okay, boat's not coming out at six, Chief. Um, oh, Anna Chad. Oh no, this is still going. <gasps> uh... Boo. That's terrible news. Thought we'd finished it, chat. Thought we'd finished it. Just cost myself the sh Oh, but we get the heat wave. Okay. I'll take the heat wave. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah. So there's the scenario. 
We're definitely playing at least one more turn here, so we're going to use this to do that. And we're going to use Kadooch for that, for that. Because that gives me a decent amount of reach. What's happening with the balance changes? They aren't the best. Um, in my, for my opinion, the last round were almost universally weird, if I'm being honest. But I'm hoping we can fix that. Um, very hopeful we can fix that, actually. Um, I mean, is it... Do I just kill it? I think we do, right? And now we just hold that for round three. Because they're minus two on every card they play. Yeah, I think we get everything for sure. And I don't think that's enough. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Again, another example. They were double scenario, but Horde just not able to keep up. Um, which, as soon as they dropped the first scenario turn one, it kind of indicated they were going to be both. But yeah, we are those two parts. We're now testing next week. After that point, I honestly don't know um, because every other, every single part has been tested. The tech team don't have any idea what could be confusing it uh confusing it causing it honestly i am lost with it um appreciate it tormoron genuinely because i mean we, we've looked through every feasible option every possible part spoken to the overclockers team who i've worked you know i've had lots of help and support with before who were brilliant and there is just no rhyme nor reason to what we're experiencing um so yeah, I'm, I'm open to help, effectively. Ooh, need bloodthirst against hand buff. Love to see it. Love to see it. Well, and I'm always happy to accept help. Uh, depending on what happens when we change the power supply out and rebuild everything again, then the last shot is seeing if the CPU is a problem, um, which it could be. I mean, they're all brand new parts and stuff. But yeah, and thank you, Tormoron. I really appreciate it. Uh, if we can't get it fixed, I will I will definitely reach out. Thank you. It's very good of you. Uh, but yeah, right now it's just been two weeks of us rocking backwards and forwards, quite frankly. It's, um, yeah. I do have a normal day job. Yes, I do indeed, Charles. I am an investigation manager for uh, Royal Mail. So yes, I do indeed have a day job. Uh, one day, I would absolutely love that not to be the case, of course. Uh, I have, do I have pirates in my hand? I don't think so, right? No. Whenever you play a pirate, damage self by one. Well, I'm not playing pirate. This all sucks. Honestly, this is all terrible. Um, this is just the most points. So we'll just play it. Um, yeah, those are some bad rolls. So yes, I do indeed. I work... Oh, okay, it's just normal Renfrey hand buff. They used all three straight away. Yeah, Ari is a full-time streamer these days, technically speaking. Uh, oh, yeah, that's... Um, uh, are you handling... No, so I'm human resources. So if there's allegations of bullying, harassment, uh, if there are conduct issues, for instance, like something like that, um, that's something I would take care of. The sub postmaster stuff is nothing to do with Royal Mail. Uh, Royal Mail and the post office haven't been affiliated for a long time, including while this all happened. Uh, so that is actually nothing to do with us, albeit it's a common misconception because we used to be the same company. No, you might, it's, it's uh, something that most people um, would say, even in England. Oh, it is horrific, Snake. There's no way around that. It's awful. Absolutely shocking. Um, and it's, well, quite literally criminal uh, to have treated people in such a way, honestly. Uh, and I feel for all of the people who had their lives absolutely turned upside down by a mix of, you know, 
the post office and yeah are they got cool down and play a bronze oh nice yeah it's I, I feel terribly bad for them honestly mm -hmm. what happened um a tldr the post office accounting system or program is a program called horizon uh, there were technical issues with the system and it basically told people that the the postmasters were stealing uh, because the accounts weren't adding up. In reality, they were not stealing. Um, in reality, in fact, they'd done nothing wrong whatsoever. And so far, for, we know of 40 people who went to prison um, for completely uh, when they absolutely shouldn't have done. Uh, it absolutely ruined a lot of people's lives. So, yeah. It was pretty, pretty awful. Um, and I can't really go into any more detail on my opinions on some of these and how well that was known. Um, because, yeah. No, postmasters aren't people who deliver the mail. Postmasters are people who run post offices. Um, and it's actually quite a difficult job to be involved in and you really do have to account your money to the penny because I was a postmaster for a period of time in my old roles. Um, used to work uh, sorting warehouse. Oh, fair enough, Noel. Uh, it, it's, it's an enlightening experience uh, working in that environment. It's like going back in time in my experience. Um, and I, I genuinely mean that. Postcode Alica. Ah, okay. Okay. How did you find it? I have to bleed here because it's... Do I actually? I don't want... Uh, I do have to bleed here. Uh, we want to get that hand buff out. So I've had lots of interesting things that I've investigated and stuff like that. Um, but obviously for various reasons, I can't really talk about it. So, but yes, I have investigated many interesting things. Is that worth killing here? Probably, I think. I think I just lead her. For the hand buff value, I think we just get rid of it. Um, and do the, does the payout weigh the bad sides of your job? Yeah, I mean, there's good and bad in every job, right? I don't dislike my job specifically, much like anybody in kind of my situation. Some of you in chat may be younger, some of you may be older, some of you may be my age. As soon as you have to do the job, whether that's because of a mortgage or whatever, instantly your love of the job obviously is slightly reduced, um, but that's very normal as well. Why did I just play this on the back row? That was that was quite the investigation, Bass aside. Yeah. We don't talk about that. I've experienced some very, very strange things in my Royal Mail time. That's all we're going to say. Yeah? Yeah? Cool, 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 cool. Let's kill Dunker off there. We're doing all right here. Yeah, Dunker got a lot of those buffs, but it just wasn't enough. She must have got the initial torque jump. Oh, what? What? Wait, why do? You, why are you here? Why have you got movement engines? It's not Snake. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell the story. So I've done various roles at Royal Mail, and sometimes during really busy periods or when there are problems, um, managers are required to support actually delivering mail. And one such time happened in an area called Darleston, where I had to go in and you know, effectively deal with a bunch of situations. So I had to go and post some mail. Um, and I was walking down a high street, like so a main row of stores, like a promenade of shops. And I had post for, let's say, number seven. Looking around... Francis Bedlam. Uh, and I'm looking around and I'm thinking, okay, seriously, where is this? And then I see the door and I go, aha, amazing, I found it. And then I try to get into the door and I walk through. And as I walk through the door to hand the post, because there's no post box, thinking maybe it's a shop of some sort. It was a swingers club. 
so at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday, I have wandered in. And it wasn't a subtle swingers club. Um, yeah. So that was a thing that I that I experienced. Um, I'm going to play on a chat here. Uh, the, the, there was lots of visibility happening. <clears throat> is what I'm going to say. Um, is my degree connected? Uh, so my undergrad degree was in history. So not really. Oh, opponent, no. Why would you let me kill your Iglesias? Opponent, no. If I play this, I get... Ill oh, opponent. So my undergrad degree, no.